What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Welcome to Marwin. Let's rock this. There's a good movie in Welcome to Marwin somewhere in there. Unfortunately, it's covered up by everything that's dry about it. And for whatever reason, director Robert Zemeckis uses the last few minutes of this film just to remind everybody that, hey, I'm the guy who made Back to the Future, remember? Anybody? Anybody? The previews or the trailers make it seem like Welcome to Marwin could be one of the most emotionally powerful movies you'll ever see. And trust me, it has that potential, mainly because the true story behind it is deeply moving. And the concept itself is intriguing. A man trying to heal himself by creating this world of imagination. But sadly, this movie is riddled with terrible writing and a storyline that is uneven to the point where it loses your interest halfway through. Directed by Oscar winner Robert Zemeckis, Oscar nominee Steve Carell plays artist Mark Hogenkamp, who was viciously attacked outside a bar one evening which left him with little memories of his past. In his effort to put together pieces from his old and his new life, he creates this wondrous World War II Belgian town where he can escape through these heroic Nazi fighting doll characters. The first half of this film really hooks your curiosity because you want to know more about this Mark Hogenkamp fella. He seems like an interesting fella. And on top of that, you want to see more of those impressive Barbie doll animated sequences as they blow Nazis to kingdom come. I have to admit, it's pretty awesome the way the movie weaves in and out between the world of Marwen and Mark's real world. But then suddenly Mark gets creepy and the story becomes the worst friend zone case ever. Look, I totally understand that it wants to show a man's fruitless effort, but the whole thing is done at the risk of turning Mark into somebody you'd rather stay away from instead of somebody you'd want to empathize with. By the way, I have no negative comments about the performances of all the actors involved in this film. Steve Carell in particular has always had a knack for playing sad, lonely individuals that you'd want to pet on the head. Dan in real life is another perfect example of that. As I implied earlier, the writing is just awful. A fifth grader could probably write a better script than this, because a fifth grader would find this film's lame jokes and frequent cheesy play on words to be excruciatingly painful. But the bigger problem lies in the story not knowing how to keep you engaged. Plus, the tone is a bit all over the place. At first, I thought, wow, this world of Marwan looks really cool. I wish the movie had just been about these dolls. Great mocap visual effects technology, by the way. Hell yes, I'd pay ticket to watch two hours of that. But then, as the film progresses, even the world of Marwan becomes somewhat repetitive and exhausting. And the way the movie wraps things up to show you how Mark ultimately defeats his PTSD trauma is rather weak and uninspired. The pacing in the middle of this film also slows down to the point where whatever care you had about these characters starts to diminish. Which is a shame because Welcome to Marwen does have the potential to be great, but it ends up being just passable or adequate at best. So that's it. That's my review of Welcome to Marwen. Share your thoughts in the comment section below and share this video with all your friends on the YouTubeverse. And as always, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. Hey, if you like this review and you want me to make more, please contribute monthly to help support this channel at Rama Screen Patreon page. Become my patrons today at patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this.